You guys, we're almost done with June. We're about to be in July. And if you don't know, I'm looking at Instagram and TikTok, okay? So this is why I'm looking back and forth. June is already just about done. We only have, what, six more months of the year? Oh, also, I'll say this later too. Adjust your calendar because the Six Figure Business Masterclass is going to be August 17th and 18th, okay? I had to change the time because it's gonna have to be two days, you guys. We're gonna cover a lot in this masterclass, okay? So August 17th and 18th is gonna start at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, and you wanna give yourself two to three hours each day. Now, are we gonna go the full three hours? I don't think so, but I want you to give yourself time just in case we do go a little bit long, okay? There's gonna be different ways that you can join the masterclass. You can do general admission, you can do VIP, which gives you an extra hour of uh, class time and Q&A, and then you can do the elite VIP, which is gonna give you general admission, VIP, and then you get a 30 minute coaching session with me, okay? But I'll have all of that on my website soon. You cannot enroll yet. I just wanted to give you all a heads up, okay? Thank you. Yes, happy Friday, Charlotte. It's actually, you guys, I'm totally in my romper phase. Look, isn't this cute? <laughs> I got it from um, Cupshe, I think it is. But yeah, it's just a cute little romper. It's like shin high. <laughs> so yeah, I'm all about comfort and style. So most of my stuff you're, you're gonna see is <laughs> probably a romper, romper or a dress or something comfy. <laughs> and that's the thing about when you start growing in your spirituality and you start doing spiritual practices, um, you need to be comfortable. Binding clothes like jeans and, I mean, leggings are fine. Like I wear leggings often in the winter, but binding clothes just don't sit right with you anymore. And um, so you're all about like being able to move, being able to feel free, all of that. So yeah, you'll notice that. Thank you, Shelby. So yeah, okay. Welcome in everybody. Like I said, adjust your calendar to August 17th and 18th for the Six Figure Masterclass. I'm gonna tell you everything that I've done that got me here. And it's gonna be things that are gonna like, it's across the board, okay? It doesn't have to be what I'm doing, it doesn't have to be my business model, it will be yours, but you apply these laws, these universal laws, to create your own six-figure income, okay? Thank you. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna first raise our vibration with the angel frequency tuning fork, okay? Yes, and I, she said scrubs, I uh, purposefully worked in a doctor's office a couple, a few times because I wanted to be able to wear scrubs to work. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so yeah, let's do the angel frequency right quick and then we're gonna get our fairy blessing and then we're gonna start with the reading, okay? So here we go. All you do, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw and your eyes, your hips. Just relax everything if you can. Don't do it while you're driving, but just relax and listen to the vibration. This one is very high pitched and it does not last very long because you see how small it is. It is a high frequency to boost your vibration. All right, here we go. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna get our angel blessing. This is the blessing that we receive over the weekend. It's kind of like an overall theme for us. And then y'all are gonna pick the tarot deck or oracle deck and then we'll do the reading, okay? So if you have any questions about tarot, numerology, 
oracle, spirituality, whatever, feel free to ask. This is what we do here, okay? This is not a private reading. This is a collective reading. All right, let's get our fairy blessing for the weekend. Let's see, let's see. What do we need to know? Ooh, a blessing of glamour. Look at that. Have you ever heard of glamour magic? If you haven't, look it up. Glamour magic is seeing yourself as beautiful, as glamorous, and being magical. It is manifesting things into your life through this glamorous energy, okay? So we have the blessing of glamour. This is about you feeling good in your own skin, you feeling glamorous in your own life. I, I posted a one of my motivations. I don't remember, I think it was yesterday in my group, and I said, you know that person that you daydream of, like you and your higher vibration? You always daydream yourself in a different way, right? Be that person now. Be that glamorous person now. Be that abundant person now. See yourself as just, you know, this beautiful being and feel comfortable in your own skin. Um, it could be also that you make some arrangements in your home. Get rid of things that don't make you feel glamorous in your home, that feel cluttered and broken down or whatever this is. You wanna get rid of all of that in your home, okay? Because you're setting a stage for that vision of yourself that you keep up here, you're setting the stage for that to come down into reality, okay? Because you're observing it. You're making it happen in front of your face, right? And if you are not feeling that great about yourself, then it is your job to do the things that will help you to feel good about yourself. Taking care of your health, uh, dressing to where you feel good. Like I said, I'm all about the rompers. <laughs> This year, I mean, I normally am, but like, I'm all about things that are easy and but make me feel good, okay? They need to fit right. Uh, take care of your appearance, however you feel is best for you. You don't have to wear makeup, you don't have to do all the things, but if you feel good in your own skin, you're gonna shine from the inside out, okay? So this is number 20. So two is all about that balance, making those decisions, okay? All right, so <clears throat> uh, can you ask tarot cards, yes or no questions? It's not ideal to do that um, because tarot is not so black and white. Tarot is about advice. It wants you to see everything that's going on around it. So um, it's not as, yeah, not a simple yes or no black or white type of situation. Oh, I did, I, I am supposed to be using my book, but I don't know if I have it over here. Thank you for the reminder. You guys are so ADHD. You're right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like supposed to be promoting my own self and my own book and I'll even forget about that. That's how much I'm just like <laughs> focused on other things. You are so right. We're going to use the book. As a matter of fact, I do have it right here. <laughs> this is how much I'm so focused on you all. <laughs> I'll forget about myself at times. <laughs> good call. Good catch. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. You're thinking today to book all those kinds of appointments. Good, yeah, whatever's gonna have you feeling good. Yeah, that is a great suggestion. And if you're wanting yes or no questions, this is a great Oracle deck to use because it literally has yes and no in it and some other guidance as well. So it's called Angel Answers. You can find this on Amazon, probably in other metaphysical stores as well, but you can get it really quick on Amazon. Thank you for that recommendation, Anne. Good catch. Okay, you guys. <laughs> so we're back on track. I got so excited about... We have the Inner Temple Symposium this weekend that I got invited to be a guest speaker on. I will be speaking Saturday. Saturday tomorrow at 
2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let me confirm that in my notes. Yes, I'll be Saturday, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, and then I will be in the VIP Q&A at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's where you can come in and you can ask all the speakers questions and just talk and connect with them, okay? So if you're in the, the symposium, that's when I'll be on. But I'll be in and out all weekend because I do have gigs this weekend. Um, but yeah, I'll be in and out. So, okay. We're going to use the book for this weekend. And the reason I got thrown off is because last week I had to do the whole week. And that's why it threw me off. So, yeah. Next week, you guys, next week we have July 4th happening. I will be on Monday, but I will not be on Friday. So, next Monday we're going to do the whole week again. Okay? Because I have gigs on July 4th. I'm going to spend time with family and stuff like that. Okay? Just wanted to give you a heads up on that as well. Okay. Okay. If you have not seen this book, this is a book that I wrote for you. This is a tarot book. It's called Mystic Muses for the Modern Goddess. What it is, is a divination book. You hold it, you connect with it, you ask it a question, you can simply ask it, what do I need to know? And then you intuitively turn it to a page and that is your reading for the day, okay? It's gotten all five-star reviews on Amazon, which I'm so grateful for. And we've sold well over 300 copies of this book already. So, yeek. All right, we're gonna focus now our energy on the book. You wanna relax and focus the energy. You're gonna feel your palms tingle because those are your two energy centers. And we're gonna ask our book, what is our energy for today, Friday? What is our energy for today, Friday? And I'm just gonna intuitively open it here. We got the seven of pentacles, okay? So I'm gonna read this to you. This is your reading for today. Today you drew the seven of pentacles. The energy is ripe for seed planting. Hell yeah. Be aware that anything you put energy and effort into today will grow, whether it's positive or negative. It won't come to fruition today, but eventually you will see the fruits of your labor. Plant wisely. Also, if you're working on any projects today, you will need extra patience. It's not my favorite word either, but it's necessary if you want things to go well for yourself. Remember, a goddess knows when and where to plant seeds of inspiration to get what she wants, all for the greater good. Okay? So whatever you're working on today, you're planting seeds. And like I said in this reading, it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. The universe does not respond to that. It only responds to energy. It, it doesn't say, oh, well, she didn't mean that. She really wants this. Mm -mm. It responds to your energy, okay? So think about everything that you are... Uh, participating in, thinking about, talking about today because you are planting those seeds. Today's a great time maybe to do some gardening as well if that's what you want to do. Do some yard work. Get out into nature. Really take a look back at everything that you have planted and that has grown up until now. How do you feel about that now? Is it still resonating or do we need to prune some weeds and make some adjustments? Okay? So let me write that down so I don't forget. Okay, now we're gonna ask the book, what is our energy message for Saturday? What is our energy message for Saturday? See, we're going to intuitively turn here. Okay, so we have the King of Swords reversed. Not the best card, I'm just saying. Okay, so this could be you or it could be somebody that you are dealing with. So pay attention. Put the sword away, goddess. Using your words and intellect as a weapon for the ego is never a good idea. 
Just because you can make them question every one of their life choices did not, does not mean you should. <laughs> Sorry, I had to be funny. Today, you, might, you may come across an issue where you feel like you are right and everyone else is wrong, but this card tells you that it's essential to keep an open mind and to consider the options of others. I'm sorry, the opinions of others. We don't always have the, all the answers, and a goddess knows she needs consultants and advisors to rule. That is extremely important. A goddess knows that she needs consultants and advisors in order to rule. Okay, it's called a mastermind, and we're going to talk about that in the master class in August. Okay, don't let anyone take you out of your power, but don't misuse your power to manipulate to get what you want. You are perfectly capable of handling any situation with grace, dignity, and tact. Okay, so whatever happens on Saturday is asking you to open your mind and not use your powers for negativity, okay? If you're dealing with somebody who is doing that, boundaries, okay? Remove yourself from the situation. Set boundaries. Do whatever you have to do to keep that from manipulating you. Does that make sense? Uh, is there a difference between shuffling and choosing cards working versus working with fly cards only? Yeah, a huge difference. The fly card thing is not how you read tarot, okay? That is a social media trick, okay? It's to get views. It's to wow the people that are watching. That is not how we read tarot. Now, let me write this down before I forget. Hang on. Now, let me show you. If you're shuffling normally and a card happens to like, you know, flip over in your hand, you take that one, okay? You take that one because that card needed to be seen. It looks, the Queen of Cups, look how powerful she looks. Okay, but doing the, the rough shuffling and making the cards fly out is manipulation of the deck and it really messes with the reading. It will give you a false reading, okay? I have people, they get so mad at me because they would rather use the fly card method. And they're like, well, my cards are accurate. Well, yeah, you can bullshit anybody. You really can. But that's not what we're here to do. We're here to set the mood, to set the scene for a calm, cool, collected, and focused reading. And then we use tarot spreads. And the way that you're going to use the tarot spread is you're going to draw the cards. If one flips out, you take that and it goes into the first spot. Then you finish shuffling, get the deck ready, and then you draw the rest of the cards. So yeah, there is a huge difference between drawing cards and the flying card method. The flying card method is not really a method. It's all trickery, okay? It's just showmanship. Uh, let's see. <laughs> You're late, dude. <laughs> Oh, yeah, energy flows where intention goes, and it really resonated. Good. You're going to be on the beach? Oh, nice. A little jelly. <laughs> what does the Wheel of Fortune mean? The Wheel of Fortune means that a cycle is turning in your favor. It means that things are aligning, and you're going to witness movement uh, one way or the other. To, to some, it might be perceived as negative because they're like, oh my God, this is moving, this is changing, but it's actually something is turning in your favor. So some people like to see it as luck, but it's not luck, it's alignment. So yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, you're very welcome. I love those kinds of questions. <laughs> so keep them coming. All right, so let's look at Sunday. What do we need to know for Sunday? What is our message for Sunday? What do we need to know for Sunday? Now we have the Knight of Wands reversed, okay? Now, this is why we read reversals because 
Life is not always gumdrops and lollipops and rainbows. Sometimes we have to deal with external energies or internal energies, okay? Sometimes the planets are affecting us. Sometimes people are affecting us, right? So let's see what the Knight of Wands reversed says. It says, whoa there, goddess. The energy is all over the place and it will take your power and discipline to rein it back in. It's a good idea to evaluate your plans for the day. What needs to be accomplished and what fun things are you trying to fit in? The unfocused energy could land you in trouble if the day gets away from you and all you've done is play. So prioritize, accomplish, and then go play. Your future self will thank you. The Knight of Wands is a very fiery and it's, it's one of those energies that loves to just like follow its, its impulses, okay? When he's in reverse, he just wants to do things for himself. Okay, and I say he because it's a knight, but it's representing you or maybe somebody else that you're dealing with. Okay, so he's he's like, well, I want to do this, that other stuff, not important, doesn't affect me, or it can wait, or I can do it later. He's like, I want to go have fun. I want that instant gratification, and I want it now. So you have to be careful with that because that leads to procrastination, and then you haven't accomplished anything. And then you're feeling bad about yourself. You're staying in the same place that you were weeks before. Okay, so it's warning you, don't get distracted by instant gratification. Make sure you handle business first, whether it's needing to do housework, needing to uh, organize, whatever it is that you need to do, okay, on Sunday. <laughs> um, I always like to do like a little bit of house cleanup, maybe some laundry, get ready for the week. Um, but whatever you need to do, get that done first and then go play, okay? Does that make sense, you guys? And if you're dealing with somebody who is only out for their instant gratification, say like a young person, it's our job to lead by example. It's our job to help them to see like, look, if you're just wanting to play, if you're just wanting things now, and you're not thinking about, about your future, then you're going to stay here, and you're going to stay stuck, and you're not going to get anything done, you're not going to accomplish anything, and you're going to feel shitty about yourself, because all you've done is just play around. You know, like the kids that love to just play video games, and they don't get their homework done, or they don't get their chores done, or they don't do anything towards their career. That's what we're talking about, okay? Yeah, it can all flow together, Glenn. Mm -hmm. Like it leads into its uh, the next one. Oh, what's the book called? Sorry, I just said it over here. It's called Mystic Muses for the Modern Goddess, and you find it on Amazon. Okay, it is linked in my profile through my website if you want to find it easier that way or you can just go to Amazon and search up Mystic Muses for the Modern Goddess, okay? Like I said, it's gotten all five-star reviews. I'm so freaking proud of this book. I get messages all the time from people that use the book daily and it's speaking to them. It's helping them. And I wrote it because I wanted people to be able to use tarot whether they wanted to learn how to read tarot or not because Tarot is a very powerful divination tool. 